Hey. Hello, guys. What is going on? How are you guys? Nori, thank you for being early. You're the only one early. That's so sad. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. You're good? Yes. Nice, nice, nice. And you? Um, uh, I'm really tired. Hi. Super tired. <laughs> Super, super tired, but you know, hang in there. All right, nice to see you, huh? How, so how's, how was work today? Mm, pretty busy. Pretty busy, I yes. imagine. I imagine, yes. so, you know, that's great. That is really, really, really good. So, how uh, is your mom? oh, she's, she, she, uh, she's better now, way better, you know? Okay. Uh, I'm glad because that that was like that was like uh, you know you worry a lot you know it's it's horrible. Yes. Yes. So yeah. Mm. Anyways, you, uh, huh? You live with her? No, no, I live by myself. You live alone. Yes. Well, I where, have a. Where do I, you live? I, I, I live with my brother, but uh, uh, in Tecla, you know. Ah, Tecla, okay. yes, yes. Okay. I, I like it here. It's it's cold. You know, it's usually colder than in other in other cities. So. Mm, yeah. Uh, here in here in Las Arboledas, it's cold too. Oh yeah, I have I have a lot of friends in Las Arboledas. I don't go <laughs> there usually, but I mean, I have like. You know, people I grew up with living there. Uh, okay. Yeah. How long have you been living there? Mm, only for two years. Really? Yes. Oh, that's great. That's great. After I lived in Soyapango. Oh, you live in Soyapango? Yes. Oh, okay. I, I got it. Got to get it. I didn't know that. Um, that's awesome. Um, David. Hello, David. Hi, David. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. How was your day? Uh, very relaxing. Very Cause, relaxing? Um, vacations. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Nice, bro. All right. Uh -huh. That is awesome. Yeah, I'm going to have to meet yes. I'm going to need some you know, time off soon. You know? Yes. So, Everybody needs. Yeah, dude. You know, like otherwise, you know, it's not worth you know getting money if you don't have time to enjoy it right uh -huh. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway so i'm glad that you're here monica hello monica hello good to see you how was your day i'm really busy and um, what about you nobody is busier than me you know because the teacher always wins okay <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm kidding no but uh no, I'm really busy. I'm, I honestly don't believe that there is anybody busier than me, you know. So, <laughs> but I'm glad that you're here. So, so what? What? What's good? You know, what have you been up to? You, do you know what? 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 What the meaning of uh, what have you been up to, is, guys? Um, no. Like, I when you say I, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, type it in here. But when you say, what have you been up to, right? Like this, what have you been up to, okay? That's like saying, you know, like, casecho, right? What have you been up to? Got it? All right. So. Okay. So what have you been up to? I have been working all day from my house. Oh, Maybe so like you that. work from home? Yeah. That's cool. Work from home. Do you like it there? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. For a few months after that, I go. I have to go out to, to go the route. I I work in sales. You have to go go where? <laughs> El uh, what, what what does that mean? I don't know. Route. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, but I don't know what it, you said it in Spanish. I didn't understand what that was. 
<laughs> I work in a constancia. Oh, okay. That right. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> okay, right. So that's the reason why you like you like beer. <laughs> Not only for that. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, Hilda. All right, welcome, Hilda. <laughs> All right, guys. So, anyway, so guys, um, so we still, guys. By the way, guys, okay, we still, we're still missing. Okay, believe it or not, guys, it seems, and I thought so too, because you know we've been like going over topics like super, super quick, guys. Um, we still, uh, we, we're. This is this is actually, guys, the third week. You know, uh, or hold on, no, 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 one, two, three. Yeah, uh, this is the beginning of the third one. Okay, all right, because we're gonna. We're gonna have our last class on Tuesday. Uh, actually, no. Uh, should be next week. Oh, yeah, let me see. Oh, one, two, three, four, right? So we should have it around um, Wednesday the 88th okay so anyways okay so we still have a few more days to go where is everybody else guys i have no idea all right but guys uh let's move on guys we have to talk about phrasal verbs okay all right guys uh who remembers what a phrasal verb is who can tell me what a phrasal verb is phrasal verbs are are two two verbs mm -hmm. that when when are um, unit okay. have the different meaning. Okay, I'm gonna help you with that. Okay, all right. Okay, it's two verbs that, when united or when joined, have a not two verbs. Okay, two words. Okay, mm -hmm. a verb, a verb, and usually you know a preposition, right? That when joined, all right, it turns it will they turn into a a different, uh, different meaning. meaning exactly, right? Exactly, guys. Okay. And yes, uh, that's actually a very good explanation. Okay, good job. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes, guys. Okay, so that that is a phrasal verb. Okay. But let me ask you something, guys. So how many words does a phrasal verb have? How many words do you see do you usually see guys on a phrasal verb? Easy peasy. Is it peace? No, that's not a phrasal verb. No. Ah, is it peace? Is not a phrasal verb. Okay. Uh -huh. No. Maybe okay. All right. Two? Maybe two what? Two words. Two work. Words. Words. Two. Oh, two words. Okay, two words. <laughs> see. All right. See, I'm constantly working, so that's that's the only thing I think about. All right, so, uh, okay, guys, so anyways, okay, so we're going to go over phrasal verbs, guys, and we're going to have some practice at the end, okay? All right, so what's the objective for today? Uh, David, help me read, please. In this class, you will learn the three word phrasal verb in order to increase your vocabulary and to help you to talk about service and dating. Okay. To help you talk about service and dating, right? So, I mean, that that's, that's uh, <laughs> all right, you need help with dating, right? That's what we're going to learn about that. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, anyways, okay. Not really, guys. Okay. I know that you're experts. <laughs> all right. So, guys, okay. So, um, let me, right. Let me ask you this question. Okay. Right. Uh, Ilda, all right. Let's uh, go over the question number one. Hey guys, what do you think happened today? Why are we so little people? <laughs> what, what have I done? What did I do? It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> it's not Christmas Eve, it's November 24th. Maybe, maybe. That's the reason. <laughs> All right, very good. So, uh, Ilda, all right, help me read. Teacher, I'm sorry, but uh, uh, until uh, my job. Okay, all right, that's okay. I type in the chat uh, this this difficult. That, that. But I can I can read. Okay, 
All right, sounds good. Thank you, right? Uh, thank you for letting me know. So, uh, Monica. Okay. Do you know how to use verbs in phrases like pick the kids up, turn the music down, and look after my car? My cat. I also. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I, I, my cat. Okay, so guys, okay, cat. so um, so listen, guys. So, um, I guess we know the first one, right? Let's. What, what, what where, where do you see? Okay, in, just in this question, guys. Okay, where do you see the first of verbs? Welcome, Melin. Hi. All right, so guys, I'm asking everybody, right? So we're here, guys. Do you see the phrasal verbs? Pick the, pick the kids up. Okay, pick the kids up. All right, what else? Turn the music down. Turn the music down, okay. All right, turn the music down and... Look after my cat. Look after my cat, okay? All right, so look after my cat, all right? Good job. Now, do we know, guys, okay? So um, so when I say, guys, pick the kids up, okay? All right, do we know, guys, what all that means? Yes or no? Pick the, pick, pick the kids up, do we know what that means? Yes. All right, what is it, David? Is like a, a is when you when you go to the school and you uh, collect your your kids. Okay, very good. Okay, so pick okay pick the kids up. Yes, is exactly what David is saying, right? It's like going to school to school and um, not collecting guys, but I mean. Uh -huh. You know, uh, go. I mean, pick them, picking them up. Okay, <laughs> you go there, right? And you take your kids with you, right? That's it, right? Pick up, right? It's like when you're picking up something, you know, off the floor. Okay, now turn down, turn the music down. Okay, so there's a rule, guys. There are rules behind phrasal verbs. Okay, so we're gonna go over them. Uh, Monica, no, yeah, Monica, do you know what the meaning of uh, turning the music down is? Yes. Okay. All right, very good. <laughs> what about you, Nuri? Mm, I think, I think that is the, uh, uh, all right, very good. Uh, up, down the volume. Okay, all right, very good. Okay, what about the last one, guys? Look after my cat. I don't know. All right, very good. So, so here's the thing. Is, all right, so I'll give you the meaning of vocabulary, the vocabulary, okay? But here's the thing about phrasal verbs, guys, okay? In Spanish, it's difficult for us because we don't have phrasal verbs in Spanish. Like, if you think about it, why the hell are, you know, phrasal verbs, right? At all. So um, they could simplify it with one single word, right? So when we say this, guys, all right, so when we say this, okay, pick the kids up, okay? All right. That's a free silver pickup, okay? When we say uh, turn the music down, right? That is turn down, all right? Look after my cat, okay? All right. So these guys, okay? All right, I'm gonna give you another one, okay? Um, take after. Get up, no. Yeah, get up, all right, get up. But those are very simple, right? But hey, okay, so when I say guys pick up, it could mean to uh, grab something off the floor, right? Like like this, right? Grab something off the floor, right? For example, right? Uh, turn down, guys, okay? Turn down also has different meanings, okay? You can say, you know, you can say, turn down the music. All right, so turn down the music, guys, right? Bajarle volumen, right? All right, or you know, they turned me down. You can say they turned me down. So what is, why does the meaning change, guys? You know, they turned me down. What is the meaning of they turned me down? Nobody? 
Okay, so I right, I'll tell you what it is. Okay, let's say that that I have you have a job interview with me, David. All right, and you know I evaluate your English and I say, mm, David, mm, English not good, right? <laughs> all right. So how do you? All right. I don't know if you have a girlfriend or not, but if not, imagine that you have one, right? All right. So how do you tell your girlfriend? You know that que te rechazaron. Uh, reject me okay okay but how do you say it okay like pretend that you're saying it to your girlfriend okay you would say i right, they you would say they rejected me right uh-huh okay but people don't usually they rejected me okay now guys this is the meaning of they turned me down everybody repeat they turned me down they turn me down. Okay, all right. That's how you say, guys, that you've been rejected. Got it? All right. Or turn down the volume. Okay. Or turn the volume down. Okay. Got it? So that is that is basically, you know, the reason after. Look after, guys. What is the, the meaning of look after? No? All right, let me ask you something else, okay? See, you guys, this is why we need vocabulary, all right? So, Hilda, all right, and, oh, Hilda, I'm sorry, sorry, okay, I forgot. Uh, Maylin, okay? How do you say, you know, uh, I don't know. So, imagine, imagine that you have, like, I don't know if you know someone, you know, que se parece su papá o su mamá, like, a lot, Okay. All right, so how do you say, how do you say that? You know, like, you know, what is another way of saying, you know, uh, look like. Okay, you can say you look like your dad, okay, but there is a better way of saying it, guys. Okay. Okay, Maylin, look like your dad. There is a better way of saying it, guys. Okay, which is not look after. Okay, it is take after, okay. You take after your father. Repeat, guys. You take after your father. Take after, you your, take after your father. After your father. father. All right, so you take after your father. Okay, so. All right, so that's how you say it. Okay, um, what about look after? Let me ask you something. Raise your hand if you, if you, if you like being looked after. Raise your hand if you like being looked, at, looked after. All right, Monica, all right? Only Monica? Nobody else? <laughs> what is the meaning, Monica? It's like my, uh, I'm, me parezco a alguien. No, no, that, that is take after, <laughs> take after, okay? All right, you take after your father, okay? All right, what about look after? Do you know what look after is? Girls, do you like being looked after? It's no? like taking care of. No. No, no, you don't like it. All right, very good. Yeah, Jonathan, Jonathan, thank you, Jonathan. All right, yes, Jonathan, I stepped in and he gave us the right answer, guys. Okay, look after, guys. It's like taking care, right? If I don't know, right? That's why I said, girls, do you like being looked after? All right, te gusta que te cuiden. Yes or no, right? That's how you say it, guys. Okay, All right? Because you would say, do you like being take, taken care of, right? That's not, that's not it, guys. Okay, looked after is like, uh, like somebody's worried about, you know, se preocupa, right? Looked after, I mean, um, look after, okay? All right, very good, guys, okay? So this is, guys, like, you know, um, caring about someone, right? All right, so let's take a look at these examples, okay? And let's see how phrasal verbs are used. Uh, welcome, guys, okay? I see you, you know, you are here now. Hey guys, hold on. We're gonna go back for a little bit. And I wanna ask you something, guys. I'm sorry, but I really need to ask you something, okay? All right. Um, guys, if you're working or something, try to connect from your cell phone at least, right? Uh, and send, you know, tell me that. I mean, some 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 of you send me messages, right? That you're working and I understand it. Okay, because then I don't have any reason why you guys are not here um you're coming super late guys and when you come super late 
I have to re-explain some things because I you were not here, you know, in the first part of the class, okay? So please, guys, if you have anything, you know, that you need from me, send me a message, right? I I might I will take I might take a while to reply, guys, because I have so many people texting me, guys, that the last thing I need is, you know, like um that that's the reason why I don't answer sometimes, right? But other than that, you know, we're good. Um, all right. So just FYI, guys, Jose Chicas, Jonathan, uh, Rafael Mayen, uh, Tatiana, Kathy, welcome back. All right. Uh, turn on the turn on the cameras, guys. All right. Actually, guys, you know what? Let's do something. Okay. This is you guys are gonna explain the next part if you turn the, turn on the camera last. Okay. So the last person to turn on the camera will explain the second part right now. Okay. So five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Turn them up. You turn it, turn it, turn, turn, turn them on, guys. Okay, right. <laughs> All right. So uh, this is the form, guys. Okay. Let's see, Rafael. Can you please read the first example? Okay, good evening, teacher. This is the form. Please, can you fill it in? Okay. All right. So this is the form. Can you please fill it, fill it in. Okay. So guys, where is the phrasal verb here? Jose Chicas. Where do you see the phrasal verb, guys? All right. Hello? Hey, lady. All right. So, um, okay, ability. Okay. Good job. Uh, can you please fill it in? Okay. Let's see. So fill it in, guys. Okay. So it's fill it in, right? And what is the meaning of fill it in, guys? To complete the form. Okay. To, right? Regeneration, right? No, the guys, that doesn't exist. Okay. All right. That was <laughs> just a joke. Okay. Regeneration. The teacher told me that this was regeneration, right? No. Okay. But to regenerate. <laughs> now, all right. So this David is... said regenerate. Right, no, no. That's that's no. <laughs> that's when you go to I don't know, guys, to one of those academies, okay? That I'm not gonna mention. All right, very good. So, <laughs> so, uh, all right, very good. So it's it's actually, guys. We, you know, guys. You know, I already said raging it, so you know what that means, right? Whatever. All right. Uh, why are you bringing that argument up now? Okay. What? Okay. Now here, we, here, here, guys. I need you to identify which is the ad, the the uh, the phrase over that we got. I don't know, guys. Whoever wants to help me. Uh, no. What is it, Maylin? Up uh, now. Up now. Okay. Do you think it's up now, guys? No, guys. Bring, bring in. in. Bring in. Up. Bring in. Everybody, bring, bring it up. up. Bring it up. Okay. So that's bringing up. Okay. Bring it up. Okay, so right, Jonathan Ayala, right? Police are looking into, right? Do we know what that means, guys? All right, try uh, even without knowing the uh, analyze the context, guys. What do you think this means? You know, with the context. What do you think? Like a searching. Like a what? Searching or investigating. Um, okay, you're, you're very close, okay, right? All right, all right, did you hear that, guys? What was it again? It's like a make a relation between two actions or to crime in this case. Okay, two actions or, okay, two times in this case, okay, right? It's like search. Searching, okay. Very good, guys, it's not searching, okay? And these guys, this, I'm, I'm actually, guys, are gonna have to explain this like this, okay? Because um, I, these guys, I, I have a lot of people making mistakes, okay? All right, and the reason why, guys, all right, is because, give me one second, guys. 
Okay, the reason why, guys, is because um, because of this, okay? Basically, guys, if you say look, okay, this means this, you know? I don't know, someone is looking, all right? Looking with very strange lips, all right? So this is look, guys, okay, right? So somebody is looking, somebody's looking at you, okay? All right, so this look, guys, see? All right, with a very narrow, uh, <laughs> with a narrow, na very narrow, um, with very narrow vision, guys, okay? So that is, that is look, okay? All right, now, when we say, guys, look into, all right, imagine the face going like this, guys, okay? So you have, you have the eyes, right? And that person is looking into, you know, whoever, whoever is here, right? <clears throat> so looking into, right? So he's looking, it's like pretend that that's, that's a box, right? So there is, there is a box and he's looking into that box, okay? Looking into, guys, okay? Looking into the box. So far, so good. Now, when we say that, guys, okay, so they take this, guys. So a phrasal verb is basically, you know, the uh, it's basically the, when we join, you know, a, a verb in a preposition most of the times, all right? Preposition. Ooh. And what happens, guys, is that imagine the preposition, guys, but they have a metaphorical meaning, okay? Imaginate, all right, I'm going to say this in Spanish because it sounds a little bit complicated, okay? So one, guys, okay, es la combinación de una preposición, right? Usualmente de, de, de un verbo y una preposición. ¿Y qué pasa? En inglés, right? Dice, what is it? Look into, realmente significa mirar dentro, right? Pero ¿qué pasa? Ellos transforman el mirar dentro en una forma metafórica, right? Look into, okay? So look into, the case, guys, is to investigate. What is it, guys? Investigate. investigate. Okay. Investigate. All right. Investigate, guys. Okay. So it is investigate. So what happens here? Okay. You have look after, right? Look after has a different meaning. Okay. Um, so be, be uh, looking. You say look for. Okay. What is the meaning of look for? For something. Okay. It is search. to search. Okay. Exactly, guys. So it is to search. And what happens, guys, when, see, so basically it's like, oh, look, and then four, right? It doesn't really make sense, guys, why look would be four, but that's basically, you know, the theory behind it, okay? So far, so good? Yes, David. Right. Um, for, a, for example, look inside is inside your body. Oh. Now, now, what hold on. Mean? Hold on, guys. Hold on. All right. So, look inside, guys. Is that a phrasal verb? Do you think that look inside is a phrasal verb? Look inside, guys, is not a phrasal verb. And the reason why, guys, okay, because the reason why, guys, is because the meaning doesn't change, okay? Look inside is to look inside something. It doesn't have a metaphorical meaning. Got it? No tiene un sentido metaphorico, right? So if you put it like that, okay? It's basically, guys, all right, looking, looking inside, okay? So anyways, all right, any other question, guys? All right, so now there is, there is an important rule that we need to learn here, guys. Let me ask you something, guys. All right, let me ask you something, okay? This verb right here. Get up. All right. Get up. All right. We know what that means, guys. Right. So can we say get get him up? Can we say this? Can we say, guys, get Cheyenne up? Yes. Because he's too drunk. All right for hanging out at La Constancia. All right, can we say this? All right, levanten a Cheyenne porque está muy, muy borracho para andar, por andar eh, eh, saliendo 
en la cosa, la constancia. <laughs> Pagando, right? Having fun, right? All right, can we say this, guys? This is, is this phrase correct, yes or no? Yes. Yes, I guys. Can, yes. All right, but can we say, guys, can we say, can we say, uh, get up Cheyenne? Get up Cheyenne because he's too drunk for hanging out at La Constancia. Can we say this? It's incorrect. It's incorrect, okay? All right, there you go. Why is it incorrect? And that's the point, guys. Why can I not say, get up Cheyenne, but I can say, you know, get Cheyenne up? Why, okay? So we're gonna learn that, okay? Give me another phrase of verb, guys. There is a rule behind it, you know? So give me, give me another verb. Can we say perhaps, okay. can we say, all right, police are looking into, police are looking connections into, no, we need to come up with a solution. We need to, all right, uh, uh, no, those examples are not okay. What was your example, I'm sorry? Oh, again, I got here. Can, uh -huh. can you pick up for me at 9 p.m.? Okay. Okay, so can you, okay, can you pick me up? Okay, that, that would be the, what you need to say, okay? All right, can you, can you pick up? Can you say, guys, can you pick up me? No, right? Oh. Can we say, guys, turn down the music? Can we say that? Yes. yes. All right, yes. can we say turn yes. the music down? Can we say this? Yes. All right, yes. so guys, do you know, okay, is there anybody here, guys, who knows why I can say turn down the music, but I cannot say get him up versus get up him? Why can I not say get him up, I mean, get, get up him, but I can, you know, but turn down, guys, works both ways. Why? What's the reason behind it? Does anybody know? Can get him up is when the person is in the street. Okay. And get up me is when the people get up. Okay, very good. So, all right, so get him up, guys, and get up him, okay? All right, the get up him doesn't even exist, okay? But why, okay? And that's what I want you to understand, all right? So do my favorite guys real quick. All right, try to give me guys, try to give me, um, try to reorder this, okay? Do, uh, I'll give you guys three minutes, okay? To reorder these sentences in the right order, all right? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Three minutes guys. All right, so, all right, so I got a uh, good night teacher this day. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> uh, David Hernandez, 
Uh, right, guys, I need, uh, guys, necesito todos, guys, todos, 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 okay? Everybody, send me the examples, okay? The, I'm um, sorry, the, the answer. Give me the form, man. I'll fit it, I'll fill it in for you. Very good. David, give me the form. I mean, you can copy it, right? But try not to, guys. <laughs> oh, you're sending me, you're sending it to me privately. That's good. Send it to me privately, guys, okay? All right. Uh, give me the form and I'll fill it in for you. Okay, very good, guys. So, um, let's see, guys. Last person, guys, to show me their cell phone. That's gonna be my participant. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Show me your cell phone, guys. And the last message is no, I'm kidding. No, don't send me the message. Okay. All right. You're gonna get caught by your boyfriend or girlfriend. All right. So, uh, Tati, let's go, Tati. I didn't see your your messages. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, so, Tati. Okay. So what is what is the answer that you got here? How do you fill it out? Give me the form and I'll and I'll um, fill it in in file it for you. All right, and I'll fill it in. Fill it in. Repeat, guys. Give me the form and I'll fill it in for you. Everybody. Give me the form and I fill it in for you. All right, give me the give me form the and I'll fill it in for you. Fill it in for you, okay. Good, good, good job, guys, okay? So anyways, guys, uh, this is the grammar explanation behind it, okay? Uh, Jonathan and Alec, could you please have me read the grammar explanation? Uh, phrasal verbs are very common in English, especially in more informal contexts. They are made up of verbs and participle, or sometimes two participles. The participle often changes the meaning of the verb. The particle, not participle, particle. Okay. Uh, particle. All right, very good, guys. So, in more informal context, okay, because the the reason why, guys, we say informal context, all right, is because this is how people speak, guys. Okay. Imagine, guys, someone in Spanish. Give me, give me a very, give me a word, guys. A very, a very complicated word that you don't commonly use, guys, when you speak in Spanish, right? Like when you're taking a girl out, guys. Okay, all right. Would you say something like, um, "Me gusta que, uh, me gusta lo poco imberbe que sos y lo sober, right? Lo poco sober, right? Right? So, do you talk like that, guys? <laughs> right? Uh, tu sapiencia es lo que más me atrae, right? Would you say that, guys? No, right? I mean, some people don't know what that means, and that's fine, right? We don't talk like that, <laughs> right? Like, that's for nerds, right? <laughs> I'm not a nerd. All right. <laughs> all right, so anyways, right? So people don't talk like that. So people here, guys, don't say, all right, uh, instead of saying, you know, your, your appearance is like your, your, your father. Who talks like that, right? People say, you look like your father. You take after your father. Got it? All right. That is more you should use in informal speech, okay? So, um, again, guys, okay? So, we have, you know, two words. Uh, two, 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 um, uh, we have a uh, phrase of verse made up of two words, and we have phrase of verbs made up of three words as well, okay? So, for example, guys. All right, we have yet another example here. And the first example is uh, Rafael my, my, my Rafael Mayen. I called Jen to see how she was. Very good. I called Jen to see how she was. Okay, very good. Uh, good job. All right, and what about the second example? Katy Carranza. Kathy, no. Um, Maylin, no. David, uh, Dave called off the meeting. Dave called off the meeting. All right. So, all right. Take a look at this, guys. What is the meaning of uh, call, guys? Just call. You know, right? To use the cell telephone, right? And you are like, uh, you know, no, I'm not married. You know we can see each other again, right? All right, that's okay. So that's a call, guys, right? What about call off, guys? And, and the cold. No, 
Exact, guys. This has nothing to do with a call. That's the point. Call love has nothing to do with a call, guys. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Very good, guys. So, call love, guys, is cancel. to cancel something. Okay. All right. So people don't say, guys. Oh, we have to cancel the wedding. All right. This is like you're saying, you know, you're you're over overcomplicating your life. How do you say this, guys? Instead of saying we have to cancel the wedding, wedding, how do you say this? We call, we we call we, off the wedding. We call off the, we the wedding. We have to call off the wedding. Or you can also say, right? We have to call the wedding off. Got it? All right. But call off, guys, or call the wedding off. Okay, notice, guys, that the order goes like this, right? All right, verb. All right, you have the noun, or you can have a pronoun, by the way, right? And you have, you know, the particle, okay? Right, so the particle. All right, or you can have, guys, the verb. You can have the particle. And then you can have the noun, right? You can use it in both ways, guys, but not with all verbs. Got it? All right. So there are three words. There, there, there exist, guys, three word phrasal verbs, okay? So repeat after me, guys. Broken up with. Broken, Broken up, up with. with. All right. Now, this one, guys, oh, my God. I have been teaching for a long time, guys. And every single student makes this mistake. Okay. Uh. Oh, what's what's going on, man? I broke with my girlfriend. Oh, my girlfriend broke. They guys never, you know, break up with girlfriends, right, guys? All right, that's a lie. All right, so my girlfriend broke with me, right? So, or, or what, what's wrong with that, guys? Is it correct for me to say, guys, my girlfriend broke with me? Okay. Can I say that, guys? Broken. Bro broken. No, like this, guys. My girlfriend broke with me. All right? Is this correct, guys? No, oh, it's not correct. Why not? In a way, yes, but it's like just punish. No, guys. It is 100% incorrect because your girlfriend, all right, you're... Your girlfriend, you know, you can say my girlfriend broke me, right? All right. Because <laughs> she was very, I don't know, maybe she was too wild, you know? Maybe she broke you, right? <laughs> All right. So, uh, so they, that, that, you know, that can happen, right? But guys, okay, these guys doesn't mean that she dumped you, okay? If you say she broke me, right? All right, that means that maybe she broke a bone of your, of, you know, of your, your, your leg, okay? Te quebró, te quebró, no sé, la, la pierna. Got it? Right? Because she was too savage, right? So anyways. Or, or my girlfriend broke my heart. You can say my girlfriend know. broke my heart, okay? But guys, every single guy, every single person that I've met, guys, say broke me, okay? No, it's not broke, guys, okay? All right? It is break up, okay? So you say my girlfriend broke up with me okay now these guys is the ones that you're seeing this the ones that you're seeing in here guys is broken up with okay that is the past participle form okay but the base form guys is okay oh my god i had to change the color <laughs> hold on there you go all right so the base form guys is break up with everybody break up with break up with Break up, break with. up with real quick, okay. Give me an example with break up. Uh, Nuri, you got five seconds, right? Otherwise, I'm gonna jump into the next person. Nuri, five, four, three, two, <laughs> one, too slow. Nuanika, give me one. All right, five, I, four. <laughs> I break, I break up with my with, with, with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now, first of all, okay, we're talking about, okay, this ex. with your ex, okay, now, you cannot break up with your ex, guys, okay, because if you say, I break up with my ex, that means that that situation is, is happening, like, frequently, right, or that it's happening at that specific time, no, this is in the past, okay, I broke up with my ex, okay, all right, very good, 
I broke out with my ex. All right. So, uh, all right. You got five sequels to ask her, guys. Okay, right. Monica, let's go. Five, four, three, two. What? 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 Give me an example with break up with. Up. Break up with. Oh, broken uh, up with. Okay. Whatever. David but. broken up with Tayan. David broken up with Chayanne. That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I have not broken up with him. <laughs> okay. With no. Dua Lipa. <laughs> with Dua Lipa, yeah. No, she broke up with me. No, but that's wrong, guys. You cannot say, you cannot say, you know, he broken, broken up, okay? Why not, guys? Why is this incorrect? David, why is this incorrect? I... Why is saying he broken up? Because this is a past participle, guys, okay? You need to say he broke up, okay? So he broke up, okay? All right. He broke up, okay? Very good. All right. Come up with. Uh, come up with, guys. Do you know the meaning of come up with? This one is one I use a lot, guys, okay? You know, come. I came up with this idea. Repeat, guys. I came up with this idea. I came, I up, came with, up with, up with, with this idea. idea. All right, I came up with like this idea. A, agree. I came up with this idea. No, it's not. It's not. No, it's not. I agree. Uh, it has a different meaning. Give, give the solution for something or idea for something. It's not to give the solution for something. Okay. It's uh, guys. Honestly, guys, I don't want to complicate my life, so I'll just say it in Spanish. Okay. It's bring something up. <laughs> Around. it's yeah it's bringing something up but if i say guys to bring up something up it's saying okay that's another phrase of her that it means exactly the same okay i you can say i brought up this idea okay so they both mean the same thing okay in spanish you would say like this guys okay like se me ocurrió right se me ocurrió este idea got it i kind of invented this idea okay so this is guys okay something that you kind of invented okay kind of like realized on your own and you wrote it up, okay? Repeat, guys. I came up with this idea. I came up with this idea. I Very good. Up. I, I came, came up with this idea. All right, repeat. Yeah. No, no, it's not came up, okay? No, right? How do you say nana? Hey, nana. Or do you say mama? Nana or mama, guys? All right, it's mama, right? So, came up. Repeat, came up. Mama, 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 mama. I came, came up. up. Came up. Right, came I came up, up with this came idea. Up. Very good. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Do we do we understand the meaning, guys, of came up and uh, brought up? Do we all understand that, guys? No. David, no, not yet. No. Okay. Okay. I came up with this idea. It's like se me ocurrió esta idea. I brought up this idea. All right. Se me ocurrió esta idea. May same thing. Got it. Okay. So all right. So uh, just to put it into context, guys. Okay, Jonathan. Right. Five seconds. Give me an example with came up with. Or come up with, or you know, just any what we use it in whatever tense you want. Okay, right. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. I came up with a reforestation program. Very good, beautiful example. Okay, Rafael, give me another example. Mayen. I came up with a um, disruptive idea. Very good. I came up with a disruptive idea. Okay, I uh, Kathy Carranza. Right. You know what? The last person, guys, to turn the turn on the camera. Okay, Jose, Kathy, or Ilda. Let's go. Right. Last one to turn on the camera. There you go. Okay, Hilda. Hilda is still working. Oh, yeah, Hilda is working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jose Chicas. Okay, All right. Jose Chicas was the last one. All right. Jose, don't go away, man. <laughs> Why are you? Why are you hiding, man? Okay. All right, Jose, give me give me one example, okay? Uh, with came up with. You're muted, Jose. Está muteado, Jose. I I came up. Uh huh. Uh, with a uh, with a uh, with a uh, with a uh, huge 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 a uh, uh huh huge example. Okay, I came up with a few examples. Very good, okay, good job. Kathy, okay, all right. Now, guys, the other word that we have here is, repeat, guys, looking forward to. 
Everybody repeat. Looking forward looking to. Looking forward to. All right. Looking forward looking to. Looking forward. Now, okay, guys, I have to teach you something about this, okay? Looking forward, guys. What do you think looking forward is, okay? Looking forward to. And guys, the whole phrase, guys, is looking forward to. Just like listen to, right? Están casados, guys, okay? All right. The whole phrase, guys, is look forward to, okay? That is the base form, all right? Esa es la forma base, guys, del verbo, all right? The, the phrase of it, all right? So looking forward to, guys, is the, you know, continuous form, right? So what is the meaning, guys, to look forward to? Tell me. All right, that's okay, right? I'm going to give you an it example. something to read something like... Something that is reachable for you, you are looking forward. All right, so let's let's talk about okay, let's talk about I don't know. Um let's talk about mm, Nayik, okay. This is not the president of El Salvador, right? This is someone from this is a totally different person, Nayik, right? Uh, uh Nayik Nayik bicycle, okay. All right, so Nayik Bicycle, guys, okay, is the subject of the sentence, okay? So let's talk about Nayik Bicycle, okay? So Nayik Bicycle is looking forward to, and check this out, guys. When you use looking forward to, Nayik, Nayik, Nayik Bicycle is looking forward to, you need to use, guys, a, um, the ing form of the verb, guys, okay? All right? It's looking forward to. Even if you have two here, guys, it doesn't matter because, guys, this works as, as a preposition, okay? All right, this works as, write it down, write it down, guys, because probably never, nobody's going to teach you this. And I'm, I'm serious, guys, okay? This specific hard part, nobody will teach you this, okay? La toda la frase, guys, looking forward to, guys, funciona como una preposition, okay? And in grammar... The rule says that after a preposition, if you want to use a verb, the verb has to be in in, in, um, in ing form. Okay. Tiene que estar en forma ing, guys. Got it? All right. So, for example, guys, I'll give you an example. Okay. Okay. You can say, I'm, uh, I'm doing this for making a lot of money, right? Um, doing this for, for is a preposition, right? For, right? I'm doing this for making a lot of money, okay? All right? Estoy haciendo esto para hacer, right? Un montón de dinero, right? So that's why, but, but, uh, but you have to use, guys, the ing form of the verb, okay? So guys, since it is a preposition, what do you think I should put in here? What? ¿Qué debería poner aquí? A verb. Yes, a verb, right? And what type of verb? ING or or um, ING or base form, guys. Guys, la A. cosa que... No, all right? A. ING. A ING, guys. Acuérdense, toda la frase, guys, toda esa frase es una preposición. La gente se confunde porque aquí esto dice to y después de to le pones un base form, right? Pero no, velo como que es una preposición. I pretend that this is like for, right? All right, after prepositions, you have to use gerunds, okay? So you need to say, I'm looking forward to meeting you, all right? I'm looking forward to seeing you. I'm looking forward to, I mean, to uh, talking to you, all right? Continue, give me another example. Looking forward to you guys. It's like saying, I have no idea how to say it in Spanish, to be honest, guys. Right? It's like saying, oh, my God, uh, help me, guys. If you understand the, the, the abstract meaning, help me. It's like saying, uh, esperando. Like, nah, it's like something, yeah, I, espero, espero verte, right? Espero verte, I, espero conocerte, espero verte, espero hablar con vos, right? But it's not like you're waiting, like, waiting in real life, right? Like, you're expecting, okay? I'm expecting, or I'm eager, you know, I'm eagerly expecting, you know, to, to see you. All right, very good. Got it, guys? All right, pretty good, guys, okay? So meeting you, seeing you, talking to you, okay? 
All right, so uh, this one, guys, is very complicated. So give me examples, guys. Uh, let's see, Rafa. All right, let's go over. Rafa, Maylin, give me an example, okay? Let's change this name, guys, okay? All right, so tell me. I don't know, baby. Okay, Tatiana, give me an example. Let's say he is, okay, Tatiana? I'm looking for to... The Christmas? He's looking forward to, remember, he's looking, guys, all right, let's go over this again, guys. He's looking forward to, and you need a verb in ing form. Okay, it's that verb in ing. Okay. All right. Uh, so maybe David uh, is looking forward to teaching us. Beautiful. Good job, David. Is looking forward. Repeat, guys. David is looking forward to teaching us. David is looking forward. To looking forward to teaching us. All right. Do my favor, guys. Everybody. Okay. Let's let, give me the same example, guys, but let's change the on, the last part down, okay? So we can make it easier, okay? Let's go step by step, okay? All right, David is looking forward to teaching us, okay? All right. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, David. All right, give me, give me the uh, change the sentence, okay? Let's go. Uh, David is looking forward to buying a new car. Very good, okay? Buying a new car, right? You read my mind. I'm actually gonna buy one next month. All right, uh, Kathy, all right, give me another example. Oh, Kathy, all right, oh yeah, you're there. Kathy? Uh, I'm looking forward to, to you. No, David is looking forward to? Oh, all right, uh, Gerald, guys. Okay, guys, you have to be in the all right. All right, David's looking forward to getting married with Dua Lipa. Okay, Jonathan, you said that. Okay, all right, getting married to by the way, guys, it's not with. Okay, that's another thing. Thank you for bringing this up, guys. All right, it's not getting married with, guys. It's not in Spanish, say casarte con. All right, in English, all right, that doesn't exist. It is getting married to. Repeat, guys. We're getting married to. Getting married to. Getting right? married to. Getting married to. Right. Dua Lupe. Very good. Okay. All right. So getting married to Dua Lupe, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, which is the Mexican version. All right. <laughs> okay. So uh, <laughs> let's see. It's like the same, but 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 cheaper, right? Lo mismo, pero más barato, right? All right, so uh, let's see, Jonathan, Ayala. Let's change the last part. Okay, uh, David is looking forward to traveling to Europe. To traveling, okay, traveling to Europe, okay. All right, very good, guys, okay, and that's how you use it. Any questions, guys? Are we good? All right, great. Okay, guys, so we're going to continue, guys, with more phrasal verbs, guys. Um, tomorrow, guys, we're going to go over the explanation on how to use, why is it that some phrasal verbs are only used with, uh, well, are only used, guys, in one order, and why some others are used in different order, in, in, a, in a different order, okay? So what, what we saw today, um, well, tonight at the beginning, guys, okay? Um, so anyways, guys. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Try to be, please be early, guys, okay? Because otherwise we, you know, do, do not get the information, right? Remember, guys, I don't know. I don't know why you started, guys. I don't know why you're starting here. But if you have a goal in life, right, and one of your goals is to learn English and you can be on, in, you know, on time, guys, so you can practice. And, and it's one hour, guys, in the day, right? So one hour, guys, okay? One hour, all right? So be early, guys, okay? Got it? Got it. All right, yes, very good. If, it. if anything happens, guys, please send me a message, okay? Thank okay, you, guys. Sure. See you, guys. Take care. Good night. Bye. Good night.